Hi, Karen Wells, Independent Sensory Consultant, Lavington, New South Wales. Well, my bring back my bar has arrived. Excellent. And I also have a whiff box. <clears throat> so we'll start off with the whiff box. Um, this is the Region 3 Australian New Zealand whiff box. And it comes in a beautiful box. Very well packaged. Um, I have in uh, the past used these boxes to send overseas as uh, gifts, um, pack up gifts, that sort of thing. Uh, it's an excellent, excellent sturdy box. So you've probably seen this uh, theme before. Um, we've got Pineapple Perfection. <laughs> Uh, as we all know, pineapple's not my favourite scent. But anyway, it's hard not to appreciate the sweetness, freshness and fruitiness of pineapple. Well, I don't. <laughs> a tune with box celebrates this iconic tropical fruit with a variety of pineapple-y scents along with some extra pineapple focused in front. Inside, sorry, fun inside. So there we go. Um, recipes for pineapple drinks and also some straw decorations, um, which I won't be using, but that's okay. <laughs> Sometimes they're really good. Um, the Halloween ones were really good. The Christmas ones were really good. So there we go. There's um, full-sized products and samples, which is also a bonus. And just lately, we haven't been getting the scent pot samples of the next month's scent of the month, which disappoints me, but never mind. We have a full bar of Hawaiian hula, which is uh, currently in our catalogue, which I'm sure is very tropical and pineapple -y. We have a current scent of the month, a Apple Blossom Breeze, which is a beautiful pink wax and it is a beautiful fragrance. It's just very light. And these ones are new bars. We've got the uh, extra little scent uh, families on the back, which, you know, it's just cute, really. Just cute. Um, we have a, a full-sized product, pineapple, coconut, vanilla in the body wash. That will be a gift, I'm sure. And also a large um, body cream. So that's the hibiscus pineapple in the body cream. And uh, I've said this before, I like to use the body cream because it is a larger container. It, it seems to me to be exactly the same formulation as the hand cream, which I, actually, I love. Um, the fragrances that I don't particularly care for, I take to work and the ladies at work are more than happy to use them up. And I've got a sample of uh, pink cotton in the Scent Soft. We also have laundry liquid, liquid in a pink cotton. Um, and I think last month, didn't we have the uh, washer whiffs? So that's good. Can use those. And also there is <laughs> a scent circle in pineapple pucker. So there you go. All pineapple-y goodness. It's actually a very good box. Um, it's... It's $51 here in Australia. <clears throat> the products are always more than $51 in full size products. Um, then, um, so it's, you can try something new, you can try a fragrance that you might not have a tried before. Um, you can give it away as a gift. It's, it's a lovely gift. And for $51 uh, plus shipping, of course, it's always, um, I think, value for money and then if you actually have a scentsy club you can actually pop it in as your half price item in your scentsy club when you actually have i think it's 101 dollars when you have 101 dollars um, over 101 dollars in your scentsy club and a scentsy club is a monthly subscription box a subscription club which you can change up and we've talked about that beforehand but half price 25 50 for this box <laughs> and it's an absolute bargain okay so bring back my bar with 
uh, uh, release, which happened on the 1st of June, um, practically everything um, was available except for the Thunderstorm uh, wax bar, which has since been released, and so I've got that coming. So what I've got here is I actually got two six packs and that's the best way to buy wax um, buy five and get one free so i got two six packs and some of these aren't uh well only one well only one of them is not bring back my bar so to make up the two uh six packs i actually put in another fragrance so not alphabetically um this one is clementine and cranberry now this one was a, a scent of the month was it last year? I can't remember whether it was last year or this the year before. But anyway, um, Clementine and Cranberry is a favourite of mine. I've actually got a few of these. And this one was open, so I haven't opened my new bar. I've um, opened this one, um, which is Clart. Oh, gosh, I can't talk. What happened to the words? Me, 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 me. Here we go. Tarte Clementine Zest, Sugared Amber and Plum Woods. This is beautiful. It's a really nice, deep um, fragrance and it lasts for a couple of days. Beautiful colour wax. It is quite uh, citrus, um, but then I'm a citrus lover. So Clementine and Cranberry will go in my Scentsy Club. I probably put that in the three-monthly Scentsy Club. Um, to add up, to make up the uh, six pack, as I said, I added an extra one, and our um, Life's a Garden collection is still available, and I put in uh, lav lavender violet, and this one's just lavender and violet. I absolutely love this. This is in my Scentsy Club already because I really like it. It's a bathroom scent, um, well, bathroom and bedroom, and it lasts for days. Then we have um, Blue Raspberry Ice, which doesn't have a Bring Back My Bar, so they must have had this in stock already um, because it is actually a bit, of a, um, a bit of a juicy bar. But anyway, Blue, Ber Blue Raspberry Ice, sort of a ice blue white wax, beautiful packaging. And it is, where are we? Sweet cherry, lemon, and blue raspberry. I don't think I've ever smelt this one before. And as you see, I've actually opened them because they've been sitting outside. And they are very cold. And I have learnt previously that I need to um, take off the little alfoil uh, covering to let them breathe. This one smells very light, even though it's been sitting open um, for a couple of hours inside, hoping for the fragrance to come out. I, I'm sure that this was, it'll probably be quite a summery scent. But So Blue Raspberry Ice, never tried that before. It'll be interesting to try it. I'm up for it. Next one is, oh, an absolute favourite, a Vanilla Oud. I just love this one. I was fortunate enough to get some um, in a friend swap. And uh, this is just gorgeous. It's one of um, the masculine, manly scents. And the vanilla just sort of evens it out, I think. It just uh, makes it just absolutely beautiful and smooth and creamy. It is leather, oud wood and sweet vanilla. Love this. Mind you, if you don't uh, like a stronger, long-lasting fragrance, you may not like it, but I love it. In my Scentsy Club straight away, mm, didn't even have to think about it. Uh, caramel Sugar Cone. Never tried this one before either. Um, I'll be very interested in this one. It is... Caramel, vanilla, sugar cone, and malt. Ah, there you go. So the malt might be interesting. I've had fragrances before, sort of like a custardy colour. Um, malt fragrances before, and they've come off a bit odd. Oh, and these are newly poured. These haven't been sitting. See, they've got the little, they're the new packaging. And uh, I don't know how this will be. Will it be light? I can smell the caramel. It's going to be a caramel. <laughs> a 
caramel fragrance. So caramel sugar cone. I'll be very interested in trying it. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put in my warmer straight away. I've actually got thunderstorm in there at the moment from an old bar, but apple butter frosting, sort of a yellowy, buttery colour. And I've had this before. It was in the clearance section and it's a baked cinnamon spiced apples and vanilla cream icing. So I had it before and it was in the clearance section, as I said, and I wasn't really a fan. It was very buttery and it is very buttery. I can just smell the cinnamon and the butter, but I, it actually ended up towards the end being quite uh, rancidy butter. <laughs> it stained the clamshell already. So apple butter frosting. Oh, and it doesn't have it doesn't have a bring back my bar either. I'm not that it makes any difference at all. That's going straight into my Scentsy Club as well. I have got into the bakery. So blueberry rush. And again, beautiful blue wax. Oh, same colour as mine. Yeah, it looks almost. And um it's interesting. I, I, I know I say this all the time and you probably don't spend a lot of time looking at the clamshells, but the designs, considering it's just just a clamshell, it's just beautiful designs. Anyway, I digress. Blueberry, I've had this one before. I was uh, fortunate enough to get it in a friend swap from uh, the US. I believe it may have been Anne. And it is ripe raspberries, a cranberry, a blackcurrant, and pomegranate. Beautiful, very nice. And for a fruit scent, it actually lasts a couple of days if my memory serves me right. Then we have caramel pear crisp, another yellowy custardy wax. And caramel pear crisp, a ripe pear. Juicy Nectarine, Black Currant. Oh, no. I, I, I got out of... Here we go. <laughs> Ripe Pear, Juicy Nectarine, Brown Sugar and Warm Caramel Cream. Mm, mm, mm. Sounds delicious. Oh, oh, oh. I can smell the pear. And it reminds me of um, Whipped Pear. Uh, yeah, there's a pear. Definitely smell the pear and nectarine and brown sugar and brown sugar. Mm, pear and brown sugar. Is there nectarine in there? Mm, could be. I'm so pleased I opened them beforehand because I'm sure that they smell much better than they did before. Caramel pear crisp. That one will go in my Scentsy Club, I feel. Oh, and a fan favourite. I've heard about this crumb top and I think it was in the clearance section and I don't believe I picked one up because I wasn't a bakery fan at the time and it is oats butter and brown sugar <laughs> mm, brown sugar is there caramel in there as well butter yeah Probably will be a mixer, but I'm, I'm definitely going to have to try more of these and um, try it on its own in my kitchen, so crumb top. And I, and I have been told that it is actually a mixer. Then we have a mojito a mumbo, and I've had this before. This is actually the same um, clamshell from the Let's Dance collection. And I've tried this, as I said, it's, it was in the clearance section. It is a club soda, crushed lime, muddled mint leaf and white rum. I don't actually get a lot of white rum from this, if I remember. It is just mint. And it is pure garden mint for me. It is like I've just made a mint sauce to go on my peas or my lamb, my roast lamb. All mint. What is it? Crushed lime, club soda. No, it's all fresh mint. And it's not one of my favourite scents. I've only got one. It's not in my Scentsy Club, but I will melt it. Um, it 
We'll brighten up a dull kitchen on a dull day, no doubt. Oh, this one, Pretty and Plum. Never tried this one before. And uh, it came out, was it in the clearance section in the States a, little, a few months ago? And it was a hit. So Pretty and Plum, Red Plum with Black Coconut and Cream. I'll be very interested in smelling this because I do like plum scents. Don't know about Black Coconut. Uh, and anything creamy, so very nice. And this is a new bar, definitely a new bar because it's got the new uh, clamshell. <laughs> See the, the imprint on the bottom of the clam? Not that you want to know, really. Hmm, interesting, very plummy. And I remember getting a Yankee candle um, that was black coconut, coconut and I did not like it at all. So I'm glad it's not black coconut. But plum, very nice. Very interested. I will see how that goes. Very good. Then another one I was very interested in is a perfectly pomegranate um, because I like dazzling pomegranate. I like pomegranate as a general rule. And this is dark, juicy pomegranate and sweet berries. And I do like sweet berries. It's a very Christmassy type uh, clamshell, you know, with the... Um, what is it, gingham? I don't know. Almost like a decorational, Christmas decoration. Beautiful colour wax. Beautiful colour wax. And this is... Oh, oh. What's it got in it? Pomegranate and berries. Hmm. Interesting. It's sort of um, not what I expected. It's not got a fruity smell to it at all. It smells like there's something else in there as well. Anyway, perfectly pomegranate. I really enjoy that. And lucky last, thunderstorm. And as you can see, it's an old bring back my bar. And this was from a friend swap from just a lady just down um, in, in Victoria here who didn't like it. And um, it, I was so pleased to get it. And in celebration of my delivery coming, I put this in my warmers today. So Thunderstorm is a favourite of mine. It is bold, musky and a heady floral. So that doesn't really tell you very much at all, does it? But it is very bold. It is very strong and it is very heady and it is quite floral. And in my Scentsy Club, multiples. That and Vanilla Oud are multiples, uh, like straight off, because they're my favourite things. So, um, and I hope that in the next couple of days, or maybe not tomorrow because tomorrow's Friday, but early next week, I will get um, some more Thunderstorm in its uh, new box, uh, in its new clamshell. All right, okay, so that's enough waffling on about that. The other thing that happened was a few months ago, we had the opportunity to pick up the Monsters, Inc. Um, Scentsy Buddies and Wax Bars. And I did actually get a mic because... Uh, I thought that that's the one I wanted. But when they sell out as quickly as they did, and they did sell out very quickly, they uh, this is Sensi I'm talking about, will quite often offer you a pre-sale. So this is my pre-sale of Sully. After seeing everybody's Sully, <laughs> I decided that I wanted one. So... This is my pre-sale of the Scentsy Buddy Sully from The Monsters, Inc. And this has come remarkably fast. Um, they must have had it sitting there waiting for me to settle up because you pay a deposit. I paid a $17 deposit. And this is months ago, when whenever it was available. And um, they... Oh, I got a scent pack as well. Yes, there's a scent pack as well. All right, so I've got the Monsters Inc. scent pack 
to go with him. And you've seen all him before. There's been lots of videos. But this is the first time that I've actually seen him in person. So there you go. Beautiful packaging. <laughs> and it's the face for a monster. He's just gorgeous. <laughs> and ta-da. Poo actually might get moved across. But there you go. Pre-sales are a wonderful idea. He is just gorgeous, so fluffy. And I'm so pleased I picked him up. <laughs> so if you feel that, uh, and it's usually, uh, they're usually available for a few days after. So it's not something you need to jump on straight away, although I advise you do. Um, <laughs> his little sock where his scent pack goes. Um, when they do a pre-sale, you pay a deposit and then when the product's available, they send you an email and a uh, an invoice and you just pay the invoice and then they send it out to you and it's remarkably fast. What's today? I think it was only the other day. Uh, it, it must have been sitting there all wrapped up like all I had to do was throw it on the truck <laughs> because here he is. There we go, Sully, absolutely beautiful. So um, I, this, oh, I'm all over the place. I probably need another coffee. So please like and subscri subscribe. Thank you for watching. Um, tomorrow is going to be the 11th of June and here in Australia and I assume in New Zealand, um, our clearance section is going to be um, filled with end of year specials. So end of financial year specials. So um, it's between 8.30 and 9.30 um, Australian, oh, Sydney time. And uh, what's that? Australian Eastern Standard Time, I think. And um, if there's anything that you think that you might want or you just want to jump on and have a look at the clearance section after it's been refilled, please do because you never know. You'll be able to pick up things for birthdays, Christmas or something perhaps that you've been watching and has and they also put things that they found in the warehouse um, that haven't been available for a while and they might find a, a, a solitary box in the corner of the warehouse. You never know. You could find yourself a bargain. I'll put all my details below and I'll talk to you later. See ya.